Hi, seventh grade. Um, I want to apologize in advance for my very stuffy nose and my raspy voice. I'm feeling a little under the weather today, um, but I wanted to do a really quick video for you all on how to draw some basic boxes in one point perspective. So what you're going to need today is you're going to need a ruler or a straight edge. My favorite drawing ruler is the clear plastic type. I like to be able to see my drawing um, through the ruler and also a nice sharp pencil. Uh, you know I love a Dixon Ticonderoga pencil. You can also use a mechanical pencil if that's your preference. Um, today you're going to start out by creating a horizon line that goes across your entire page. And a horizon line is the line that represents where the sky meets the ground. So if we, I'm going to mark this right here, horizon. Horizon line. Um, it's also known as the eye level. So I'll write horizon line or eye level. So this would be our sky up here. This will represent our ground. And of course, this line is our horizon line. Um, what you're going to need in order to create boxes that look three-dimensional is you're going to have to create a vanishing point in the middle of your horizon line. And I'm going to label that here. A lot of people forget the name. It's a vanishing point. It's not a dot. Vanishing point. Mm -hmm. So we need just the two things. We need our eye level or um, horizon line and our vanishing point. Now when you're drawing a box in one point perspective, you have to imagine that a side of the box is facing the viewer. So we're going to start by drawing a face or a front of a box. And a box is just going to look like a regular old square or rectangle. I'm going to draw I'm just going to start a little square right here, about the width of the ruler. And I like to keep my boxes really clean and neat, so if I have any little lines kind of sticking off the corners there, I like to get rid of them right away. Now, this is a two-dimensional shape. We need to turn it into something that looks like a three-dimensional form. So we are going to have to interact between our square here and our vanishing point. And here's what you're gonna do. You're going to take your ruler and you are going to draw a line from the corners of that square to the vanishing point. I'm gonna go from each corner with one exception. If I'm going to draw a line and that line is going to cut through my original shape, I don't need to draw it. So if I were to go from this corner to the vanishing point, you can see here that would cut through my original square. I don't need to draw that line then. Um, I want this box to look solid like a brick or a cardboard box, so I don't wanna make it look um, see-through where we would see that line. So now that I have gone from each of the corners to the vanishing point, I have to figure out how to end this box. Right now, it looks like it's going off into infinity. It looks like it never ends. We are going to have to use a 90 degree angle or a right angle to end that box. So if I take my ruler here and I just line the, the end of my ruler up with the box, you can see here that I created a 90 degree angle. I also need to create a 90 degree angle to end it. So I'm going to take my ruler. I could make it really close. I could make it really far away. I'm going to go about halfway and I'm just going to mark my vertical line. It mimics the vertical line of the original square. And then I also need to create a horizontal line. And that horizontal line is going to mimic the horizontal line of the original square. So you can see here now I have a box. Um, we, have, we can see the front, we can see one side, and we can see the top as well. Now that we have that in place, I no longer need these guidelines going to the vanishing point. So I'm just gonna get rid of those right away. And there I'm left with a really nice box. I can come back later and retrace it if I want to make the lines darker, but I'm just going to keep going um, with a new box. This time I'm going to do one up in the sky. I'm going to make it look like it's floating in the air. If I want to do a box floating in the air, I'm going to do one on the right side now. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to play with a little different shape though. This time I'm going to do a rectangle. How about a skinny rectangle? Okay, 
Now, from here, I need to go from my corners to my vanishing point with that same exception. If I'm going to cut through the original shape, I don't need that line. So from this corner, can we draw to the vanishing point? Yeah, sure can. And I'm gonna show you a little secret. As long as your corner is using the ruler and it lines up to the vanishing point, I don't have to draw the entire way. So I think because I don't wanna go through my letters, I'm just gonna go part part of the way there. I'm gonna do the same thing from this corner. As long as they line up, I don't have to draw the whole way. And same thing right here. Okay, oof, that doesn't look very nice. I'm gonna retrace that one. Even pros make mistakes sometimes. Um, great, and we don't need to go from this corner to the vanishing point because we don't wanna cut through our original rectangle. So what we need to do now is we have to end that box because it looks like it just kind of fades off into nothing. We're gonna do the same thing we did before by creating a 90 degree angle and we wanna mimic this 90 degree angle of the box. So I'm gonna bring my ruler up, create my horizontal line, Create my vertical line, and there you have another box. As soon as you're done, you can get rid of those guidelines. I drew a little bit dark, they're harder to erase. I'm gonna come in with a different eraser here. That's a little bit better. Now, I'm gonna show you one box that's a little bit different. The first two boxes I did um, showed three sides of the form, we can see the the front top side, you can see the side front bottom. I'm gonna do one now where we're only gonna see two sides of the box. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a tall rectangle right about here. This one will be floating in the sky as well. Okay, now, ooh, that one goes off the camera. I'm gonna keep it right about here then. My mistake. That'll be just fine. Now, if I were to go from this corner to my vanishing point, it would cut through my square. So I don't need that line. If I were to do the same thing from the other corner, you can see here it would also cut through the box. So when I'm drawing to the vanishing point, I'm only able to do that from two these two bottom corners. So because there are only two lines going to the vanishing point, all I'm going to need to end this box is just a horizontal line. So on this particular box, we are only going to see the front of the box and the bottom. It just matters where it lands um, in relation to the vanishing point. I'm gonna show you how to put one right on the horizon line. Almost, it'll almost look like a skyscraper off into the distance. This one is gonna have the same problem as the one we just drew. It's not actually a problem at all. It's just a little bit different rules. Okay, if we were to go from this corner to the vanishing point, it would cut through the box, so I don't need that one. If I were to go from this corner to the vanishing point, it would also cut through the box, so I don't need that one. Pardon my sniffling. I'm gonna go to my vanishing point, vanishing point, and same as before, because only two lines go to the vanishing point, on this one, we're just gonna need a vertical line to end it. And I don't want it to look like we can see through it, so we'll do a little bit of erasing there. for good measure maybe we'll do one more box right below the horizon line just so we get a lot of good practice in there <sighs> pardon my sniffles we'll do a little bit larger of a box here and 
And this one I'm just going to fly through because you should be getting the hang of it at this point. Boy, seeing my fingernails up close on this camera is inspiring me to paint them. Artist hands never look very pretty. And all right, now this one is getting a little bit close to the horizon line. The closer a box is to the horizon line, um, the less you're gonna see of that roof. It might just look like a little bit of a sliver of a roof and that's, that's normal, that's okay. And I'm gonna end it with a 90 degree angle. Clean up those eraser lines and there you have it a couple boxes drawn in one point perspective i just want to do a little bit of review on the different types of lines if a line goes up and down we call that vertical if it goes left to right we call that horizontal And if we have one that goes from, what would we call that, southwest to northeast, is that correct? I think it is. We call that diagonal. And the trick here is all of your lines are going to be vertical or horizontal except for the ones that lead to the vanishing point. So the only diagonal lines you're going to see in a drawing like this are the ones that go to the vanishing point. Thanks for watching, guys. Good luck. We're going to do a little bit of a sketchbook assignment soon so you'll get some practice on your own. Thanks for watching.